Hey YouTube. Um, when I was talking about whether or not um, people are afraid of the forest and should they be and whatnot, I mentioned that there's uh, some bear sign around where I'm at. So as soon as I started this video, I uh, I left my little camp. So we're walking and up to where the bear sign was. I'll show you how close it was. The animals will normally uh, make their way to water. So I'm right by a lake. So there's lots of uh, tracks and trails here. Um, the animals have been coming through. But uh, as I said in my other video, these animals aren't overly interested in us. They don't want to get in our way. And they don't want us getting in their way either. Just trying to find the easiest way to get through with the camera. So some of the trails that I'm following now are actually animal trails. And they're uh, quite well, well worn. So we've come to a bit of an opening here. There's raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and there's where a bear's been. Digging for ants. Now, if you look through the trees, you can see the lake right there. That's how close we are. I stayed here last night by myself. And uh, there's your raspberry bushes and blackberry bushes. I stayed here last night by myself. And the only real noise that I heard was a squirrel that's been following me around. He didn't like to come too close, but I got a little bit of a video of him. These are the kind of things that you can expect to see in the woods, but that doesn't mean that you have to be nervous about it. You always have to be cautious and you always have to think about what you're doing because you don't want to attract them but most of the time you're not going to attract them anyway. They may, they may be curious. Like I said I have that one bear that generally follows me around when I come through here. Usually, usually picks me up further up the way and then he'll follow me around as long as I'm out here. But uh, that's just curiosity. But I'll show you some of the paths here. You can see the path running along there. And then you can see where they run down into the water. They come along here, go down over there. And they'll also go over there. You can find these trails all through this area. There's another big one over here. Now the big one over here, I'm not sure if that's people or animals, but look at the trail. There's a cross here. Look at here. Right into the water. And then, I don't know if we can get a shot. Yep, there it is. Go to right there. There's an old beaver lodge. 
that one's abandoned. He's gone way, way over the other side of the point now. Now the bears that we have around here are black bears. They, uh, it's funny when I told my brother that I was going to hunt bears, he gave me some useful advice. He said, uh, if a bear chases you, climb a tree. If it comes after you, up the tree, it's a black bear. If it knocks a tree down, it's a grizzly bear. So, I don't know if I want to test the theory or not, but I thought it was pretty good advice. I don't know what you think. So anyway, just uh, hopefully that educated you a little bit more about whether or not you should be afraid in the forest. Thanks for watching. See you next time.